You were in that Cleveland locker room, this team that hadn't lost the games, now lost two. How do you best describe the group of guys that you saw? Scott, it certainly wasn't despondent, but it, it was frustrated. We talked to Channing Fry. He was in a similar situation to this back in 2010. He was on the opposite side of things. Suns playing the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. It was the Suns that forced a 2-2 series against the heavily favored Lakers. And he knows that the Cavs are kind of playing with fire because that's what he felt like the Lakers were doing back then. He was asked, what's going on with the defense out there? He said, obviously not much. They gave up over 50% shooting to the Raptors. You know, Channing used the expletive to describe it. That's not what this team's been about. They've been holding teams to under 90 points in the playoffs with regularity, holding teams in the 40% shooting, and, and it's really started to slip away. But, of course, they take a page from LeBron James and everything that they do. I was staring at LeBron's locker, and he came in, you know, looking resplendent like he usually does in these playoffs, and he had a set – of sunglasses in his locker. And I was keeping an eye on that to see, you know, if he was rattled, I don't think you're wearing sunglasses into a post-game press conference. But sure enough, the, the shades went on his, on his head. When he walked to the post-game press conference, he said, I'm confident in my ability and confident in what I can bring to this team. We're going we're gonna to go back home. We're going to play better. I know it. So I think they are frustrated but not rattled by the 2-2 series.